there. Uh, if you could just wait for the mic. Thank you. My first time. <laughs> but same. <laughs> Garrett, um, being with the Astros the last couple of years, I'm guessing you still, you know, have relationships over there. Just in general, what are your thoughts on, on what's happened with them in the last month or so? Yeah, um, well, I had addressed it previously uh, when I first signed a contract in New York. And, I mean, my feelings really haven't changed much. It's there's Nobody's getting a win out of this, um, and it doesn't look – you know, very good, and I guess I'm just I'm fortunate to be able to be here and and um, move past it, um, and uh, uh, I guess you know get to experience all the great things about coming to a new team and and all that kind of stuff. So, Andy, in the back. Uh, when you see some of your former teammates today uh, deny the use of any buzzer in 2019, do you accept that completely? And believe that there was none of that going on? Sure, I I wouldn't have seen it or been privy to that information anyway. But I believe my team, my my ex teammates. I believe those guys. So, uh, Kenny in the front row. Okay, uh, Rob Manfred's report. Uh, the focus was obviously on 2017, but they did say that the, they used some sort of system at least for part of 2018. Understanding you're a pitcher, uh, were you aware at all of any of that? No, I wasn't. Um, it's, yeah, I, I wish I could elaborate, but no, I wasn't. Bruce to the left. Garrett, do you have to talk to your teammates here in any way about just clearing any type of error be, because you were a member of the Astros and the Yankees are, are not happy in general about what transpired? Um, I haven't. Uh, I haven't gotten any vibes like that. I mean, certainly, uh, um, you know, these are my teammates, so we're on many conversations along the way. And if that happens to be one of them, I mean, I, I'll just give them an honest answer, which is you know, I, I had no idea of any of it going on, and I didn't see any of it. And and so um, you know, I, I don't certainly really don't think I have much to apologize for. So I don't know how you would... Yeah. Who else? <clears throat> Meredith, you've been rather quiet the last couple of days. <laughs> I mean, no questions. Garrett, you mentioned some of the excitement when coming to a new team. What were your expectations heading to spring training, and what was it like just walking into the clubhouse and seeing some of your teammates for the first time? Yeah, I mean, my expectations, I've been chomping at the bit quite a bit. Um, this off season, uh, just excited to get down here, Amy and I. Uh, I'm just thrilled for this new adventure. Um, I remember how much fun I had uh, meeting new teammates a couple of years ago in spring training, um, and I'm kind of doing the same thing here. Um, and so it's always you, you meet new people, you learn new things. It's just kind of an exciting time in your life, and you get to play baseball again, which um, you know at, at some point during the off season you start looking forward to doing that. Um, so just a lot of good vibes, a lot of excitement, and just throwing bullpens and having a good time. Otis, back right, Garrett. Garrett, we saw you yesterday uh, throwing bullpen, also uh, talking a lot with whoever was around, you know. Right. Um, is that something that you're really big on, sharing your craft um, and, and, and taking on a leadership role? Um, well, I'm just going to try to fit in wherever I can. But, I mean, I'm new here, so, like, the only way to get familiar with things is to communicate. And, um, you know, I just want to make sure everybody's on the same page as, as soon as you can and just articulate my thoughts so we can speed that process up and get into more gamesmanship and you know kind of get these uh introductory kind of uh uh processes kind of over and done with just trying to be efficient in that sense um but i do like to talk so i guess maybe a little bit of that too <laughs> uh brian right here in the front row and then tina Garrett, during that conversation, it seemed like you were kind of animated uh, talking with Boone and the coaches. What were you trying to get across there? What, take us inside that. Um, we were just talking about, well, a handful of things. Um, I guess to kind of summarize it, it w would be like how I try to see the zone um, and then, you know, what 
my intent is with uh, different pitches. For example, you know, positioning positioning of the catcher to kind of give me a better idea of where the strike zone is. Um, and then also, you know, communications with the catcher or, or communication and just in general as a staff, like what is it going to be our priority when we're throwing a fastball into a left-hander versus a fastball away to a right-hander? Where am I going to, you know, kind of guide my miss if I'm not going to hit the spot in the right location. And some of those things are just kind of core principles to like, you know, my stuff and how to get the best action out of my pitches. But, um, you know, there are, you know, you start to kind of dive into like, well, what's the catcher seeing? And then is this miss uh, in this location um, a comfortable spot to miss to this hitter specifically? Um, so we were just kind of, like I said, generally trying to help me identify like where the zone, what I like to see, and then where I like to miss with my pitches. And that was kind of the gist of it. Uh, Tina in the middle. Garrett, I know you've only been here two days and there'll be more fans as it comes along, but have you sensed their just excitement, the buzz about you being here? Because this is a fan base with high expectations and it's gotten even higher, you know, from your time in New York. What have you noticed about the way they've accepted you immediately? Um, I haven't had too much interaction with them like you alluded to, but um, for some reason there's this, the, this buzz that's just like permeating through my life, whether I'm like looking for it or not. Um, and it feels really good. Um, and, uh, so, you know, I'm here doing press conferences and things like that, which are uh, going to be a new thing for me, but, um, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I, I appreciate the fan base, obviously being a Yankee fan as a kid. Um, you know, the, the relationship that, uh, this team has with his fans is, is, one, it's like based on accountability and um, and and honesty and, and and trying to win a championship every year. So, um, you know, I'm I'm ex just excited to you know be able to try to live up to that every day. I guess. Uh, Jack in the back, right. Garrett, one of the narratives that surrounds the Yankees is they won 103 games last year. They went out and got Garrett Cole. They should win a World Series this season. How much do you embrace? being right in in the middle of of that buzz and and what you just talked about there yeah i love it um in a sense like from a player's perspective it it really doesn't get much more simple than that like right it's it's the dream to like go out there every day and and try to win every single time and it, it sounds very simple but you know you guys know better than I do being around this organization. Like there are a lot of moving parts and there are a lot of people that pour a lot of time into just kind of simplifying that one theme. We need to win a world championship. And so, um, you know, you're, you're thankful for all that hard work and you're thankful like for the opportunity to be surrounded by that mindset. Because like as a player, when you're pushing through pain or you're making sacrifices for your family or you're, 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 you know, you're, you're doing the mundane stuff in the off season or the stuff that people don't see, like that drive to win is what, is what fuels you ultimately to stay focused during those times. And, um, you know, so to be surrounded by like-minded people always, you know, just reinforces that. Uh, to the left, Sweeney front row. Gary, your arrival here comes with uh, an implied leadership role. Is that hard to do when you come here not really knowing anybody and try, just trying to establish that part of it? Uh, I, I, well, I, I, yeah, it's probably hard. I mean, I, I'm just, I'm just trying to be myself. So, um, if I can, if I can help somebody in some way, uh, either by example or, or by talking to them, um, like I. I I've always kind of done that. So I, I just don't really plan on changing in that sense or trying to be somebody that I'm not. And um, there are people that have played here a lot longer than me and know the ropes of this organization and this division better than me. So probably more often times than not early, I'll be leaning on someone else for some leadership in, in terms of that sense. Um, you know, but... Aaron this morning talked about, you know, bringing energy and, um, you know, bringing like a positive vibe and, and focus into the clubhouse. And so uh, essentially, I think he was kind of really calling on all of us to, to be leaders in that sense. And um, also, you know, take the opportunity to learn from your teammates that excel at doing that too. So just trying to be myself and slide right into that dynamic. All the way to the right, Ryan. 
Garrett, to kind of piggyback off of that point, Luis Severino and some of the guys were talking about learning from you on the mound when it comes to pitching. Have you embraced that role in the past uh, in your role now as the ace here on this team? Well, I feel like it's less of a role for me personally and more of just a um, – more of just uh, – I'm searching for the word, but like everybody should be doing that essentially, right? Like all of us should be communicating and talking about what we're feeling and what we're reading because, um, you know, that's just the way the game is structured. You're facing the same team three or four different days in a row and then in a couple weeks. So uh, any information or any edge you can get from your teammates or any perspective that they can lend you to help you have more success. Um, so I personally don't want to be doing a lot of that, but I would like, my goal would be to try to help facilitate that um, kind of relationship amongst us pitchers and really our team as much as possible. Um, and the teams that I've played on that have been really successful, that's been, uh, that's been, you know, it's kind of free flowing, right? Kind of a natural, natural characteristic of the team. And so um, that's what I try to contribute to. Take a few more James to the left. Garrett, might sound silly, but like which teammates that you might have known in, in past stops or like you know knew of like have, have been helpful in this transition? Even as silly so as far? Like, like where to live or like what to do, like where to hang out, like well, come, come over, or like we'll show you around or whatever. Yeah. So it's nice that I played that Hap and I were catch play partners in Pitt. So I have a partner there. That's nice. Uh, I didn't have to, you know you know, be the odd man out today. And um, uh, as far as, as far as like, you know, getting to know some of the city, like I, I really have only talked to or corresponded with guys that I have like a, a bit of a past with already, like uh, James or Hap, um, uh, because I, I'm waiting for like to just make an in-person kind of introduction first. Uh, um, but you know, just two days in, everybody seems to be, like, really welcoming and and trying to just help facilitate, like, comfortability and, and like, where's the video room and the weight room and, and how we do things around here and what we wear out to stretch. And um, and then I've gotten to know uh, Tommy pretty well, too, just from hearing him a lot so far. Yeah. <laughs> Buster. Tanaka said the other day he was looking forward to learning from you. Is there anyone on the staff that, uh, knowing that they were going to be your t new teammate, that you were looking forward to learning from another pitcher? Yeah, I mean, your question specifically, I, I would like to learn from everybody, but specifically, I, I really admire Tanaka. I think, how can you not? I mean, he's been just like the quintessential professional here in New York for his entire stay. and. Um, you know, he dealt with a lot of challenges coming from Japan in the middle of his career to a, you know, completely different side of the world. So there's probably some perspective to be gained there. And then, you know, his style is a lot different than mine and James and, uh, uh Seve and, and, you know, Hap in terms of, you know, true fastball kind of attack. So, um, pitching with like Grank and, Dallas the last couple of years, you know, you can always learn from the, you know, the flip side perspective a little bit. Um, I think his delivery is really consistent. So I'm really looking forward to learning like, you know, how he, how his thought process is on the mound and, and, and like maybe some drills that he does to keep himself just so centered and so consistent over his, over his delivery. Um, and watch how he carries himself around here because he, he does, he does a really professional job at it. So. Uh, Eric and Lindsay. Or Dan, did you have a question? Okay, whoever. It's all good. Uh, I'll just uh, uh, just a quick one. You, you said Paxton that you just know from the AL West. Is that uh, he used to train in Newport Beach uh, when um, him and his wife were first dating? You come down there, spend some time. So we trained together a little bit um, through Boris. And, um, yeah, you, know, just, you, you can't help but really like the guy because he's a really good person and he's a really hard worker. So. He's Canadian. I mean, yeah, and he's Canadian. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my main question was, uh, what, what's your typical spring training workload, and will that be impacted by the fact that you pitched so deep into last uh, October? Yeah, um, my typical workload is, is uh, I think Matt and I drew the schedule up this year really 
uh, and kept it the same as last year, except for like one day. Um, so we we're fortunate to be able to do that. Um, my buildup is just kind of like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then repeat going into first um, first start. Um, so I anticipate just trying to get on a five day as quick as I can, and then just kind of roll into that progression. Um, and then as far as the 250 innings, like. I feel pretty recovered. I feel pretty good. I feel really recovered. If if anything, I feel like I have more feel, at least for where the ball's going now, um, which I guess, you know, that continues to improve with more experience and the more innings you throw. So um, but as far as any ill effects, I, I have nothing. I really feel good. Eric. <clears throat> Garrett, you were on a, a team that lost in the seventh game of the World Series last year. How much does that drive you? to get back to that point and ultimately yeah it's it's uh, the last yeah it drives me a lot I mean it, it's been really easy to stay driven this year in terms of uh, you know the free agent process got done really really quickly and so you mix that excitement with um, that that disappointment or that that bad feeling that you have from losing uh, and, and you get like you know you get somebody that's really like chomping to I'm like ready to go right now and take care of business so um, it drives me uh, it drives me every year um, but specifically last year coming so close um, it's, it's just it's just made the opportunity this year you know just so much more exciting so take the last one Lindsay to the right when, when did you start really working with Matt? And then when did you get down here and, and start kind of working with your new coaching staff? Um, so Matt and I have corresponded. Um, Matt, Zach, uh, and I don't know last names, Brett. Um, we corresponded a couple times over the offseason to go over how – I like the scouting reports, what I'm looking for from an, the analytic team, and then um, uh, specific, you know, their evaluation of my repertoire and, and what I may be uh, benef benefit, what I may benefit from moving forward. Um, and we kind of haven't gotten too deep on the surface yet because there has been not as much time, like eyes on eyes on each other so there are some nuances that can be picked up but we've laid a little bit of groundwork to try to facilitate those conversations in spring and kind of get a jump start um i think he's been really helpful communication wise uh he's been really diligent i like his thoughts so far um and um, we're on the same page a lot and and so and i've only been here for two days so you know it's, it, i've thrown in front of him twice um so there's a lot of work to be done from from that standpoint but we have kind of gotten a head start on on some of the other stuff that that maybe might help facilitate you know the part that comes with actually taking the ball and and, and getting some work done so garrett thanks for the time thank you everybody have a good evening thoughts from garrett